Hello, this is Tony Heller from RealClimateScience.com. Michael Crichton wrote some very important words about consensus in science. Historically, the claim of consensus has been the first refuge of scoundrels. It's a way to avoid debate by claiming that the matter is already settled. Whenever you hear the consensus of scientists agrees on something or other, reach for your wallet because you're being had. The work of science has nothing whatever to do with consensus. Consensus is the business of politics. Science requires only one investigator who happens to be right, which means that he or she has results that are verifiable by reference to the real world. The greatest scientists in history are great precisely because they broke with the consensus. If it's consensus, it isn't science. If it's science, it isn't consensus. In 1945, the Guardian newspaper wrote something very similar. They wrote, the freedom of science to push its inquiries into every field and to proclaim its own results regardless of established opinions was an article of the progressive faith throughout Europe. Within science itself, the young pioneers, the revolutionaries like Pasteur and Darwin, Semmelweis, Arrhenius, Van de Hoff, Freud, and Einstein, who had to fight often single-handed against the closed ranks of an overbearing orthodoxy, were the most admired and beloved figures. They were the heroes of enlightenment. Then the article discussed how the communist government of Russia had corrupted science by politicizing it. Now let's go back in time to the year 1821. The most powerful hurricane to ever hit New York City struck Lower Manhattan. The storm surge at Lower Manhattan was possibly as high as 13 feet. The only thing that saved Lower Manhattan from complete destruction is that the storm came in at low tide. 1821 was also the year when the Guardian newspaper was founded. Historically the newspaper of British progressives, there's been a paradigm shift over the last two decades. The Guardian has found a much larger global audience and gained international recognition as an authoritative journalistic voice. The Guardian spent 180 years questioning authority before they became an authority themselves. And now they pride themselves in censoring any scientist who goes up against the scientific consensus. They made a decision four years ago to censor any scientist who goes up against the orthodoxy. They apparently believe that corn stalks turning brown in the autumn is caused by climate change. And they also believe that they can see the future and it's going to be catastrophic. Now they censor everybody who disagrees with their climate nonsense. The Guardian has become the very people they claimed they were fighting against in 1945. In other words, the progressives of 1945 became the reactionaries of the year 2018. Toto has been pulling back the curtain on Guardian climate propaganda for the past 14 years. You can visit him, Kyrie Caesar, Toki Nupla, on the web at realclimatescience.com.